There was no space on the rusted out American school bus, so I had to ride on top, along with chickens, wooden crates, and sacks of raw coffee. Not a place for an 18-year-old. As the bus rattled and bumped down the unpaved mountain road in central Guatemala, the lush landscape revealed itself, and something shifted in me. I was headed into my senior year of college with applications to the law school at the ready, my career all mapped out. But in that moment, a new vision of life, of my life emerged, something that got me excited, something that got me passionate. And I decided this is what I wanted. I wanted adventure, a taste of the unfamiliar, a window into new and foreign places. But the revelation I had on top of that bus was as frightening as the crosses lining the road. I grew up in a family of lawyers. My grandfather was a lawyer. My grandmother, great-grandfather was a lawyer. So was my father. And I'd always assumed I'd be one too. Comfort came with familiarity, and that's something probably many of us relate to. I never met anyone who had the kind of job I now envision sitting on top of this rusted out American school bus in Guatemala. So I returned to my final year of college invigorated but anxious. It was my father who diagnosed my unease. He had a way of cutting to the heart of the matter and would regularly communicate his shrewd observations through handwritten letters. Uh, since he was a lawyer, he would write these meticulously on yellow legal pad with Roman numeral one, Roman numeral two, Roman numeral three, sub 3.1, 3.2, 3.3. <laughs> the letter I received just back from Guatemala changed my life. In it, he gave me a mandate to chart out my own course. He said, and I quote, without confidence and high expectations, you will hardly be in a position to knock in the winning goal, the one you have wisely made for your own very special reasons, for now and in the future. And remember, no one wins all the time. Life's challenges present rewards and also a fair share of heartaches. Those willing to expose themselves to pain also experience greater excitements and satisfactions. Go for it with gusto, three exclamation points. <laughs> it's been 13 years since my father passed away. It was his words of wisdom that guided my decision 16 years ago to shelve my law school plans throw out my application, and instead apply for an internship at Discovery Channel, an internship that began my career in nonfiction television and of storytelling. It's the same sentiment that gave me the courage six years ago to leave the comforts of corporate life at a job that I loved with people that I loved to start my own company, Half Yard Productions, uh, which, along with my family, who's sitting over here, my work family sitting over there, uh, fulfill me every day. I miss my father, especially on days like today. He would have loved to see me standing up here talking about his letters. I try to live by his words and moreover his example. He had a very clear moral compass and he had a very clear personal compass. I hope that when my two daughters, Sadie and Theo, sitting over there, now six and four, get to a critical juncture later in their life, that I will be able to share his pearl of wisdom, which has now become mine. Take risks, set high expectations for yourself, expect challenges, and live life with gusto. Thank you.